a new book now out to add to the shelves of nature lovers. Peace with Nature, 50 inspiring essays on nature and the environment. It includes pieces from scientists and lawyers and engineers, and as well as members of the civil society on the nation's biodiversity. Now, one of the editors is here with us. He is Dr. Sean Lam from NTU Asian School of the Environment. Welcome. Thanks, um, first question to you. Uh, many, many books on nature out there. Uh, lots of publications. Why should we buy yours? And who do you want to buy your book? Thank you, Jill. Uh, maybe a few things. One is the book is really the, the vision and the, the dream of Professor Tommy Ko mm -hmm. to share with Singapore uh, one thing that he cares deeply about, nature and the environment. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one thing that distinguishes this book. It's, it's a vision of, of somebody who's been a, a, not just a local, but global leader uh, in the environment. The second thing is we wanted to find stories, not just tell about the environment, but capture the stories directly from people, ordinary people like you and me, who just develop somehow a passion for the environment and through, through this fun, a compelling passion, pastime, and in the process did or extraordinary things. Mm. All right, uh, 50 essays, 50 chapters, and I was just quickly flipping through them. They, they range from something as specific as dragonflies, stick insects in Singapore, to region Sungai Bolo, to more technical things such as how the, IP, how the IPCC works, climate change. Yes. So how did, I mean, you talk about nature and the environment, how do you put this together in a comprehensive, holistic picture, 50 essays covering 50 things that really matter. It's, um, yeah, it was a challenge, uh, Wei Su. But collectively, I mean, the three of us, so that's Professor Tommy Ko, Professor Lailin Heng, and myself between us, we have 130 years worth of experience in the, in the nature and environment mm. sector. And if you look at our interests, they range from law and policy to actual nature conservation to biodiversity. So within each of these spheres, we, we thought, you know, could we select uh, stories that could tell something about the study, the protection, and the advocacy for nature? And I think we managed to mm. capture quite a wide range, not only of interesting topics, but really compelling stories. And, and a wide range of, you know, the, the people, the essays and the essayists yes. that you created. Um, such a broad range of expertise and topics. How, how did you uh, narrow it down, almost filter it to just these 50? Well, we, we want, well, we've had the privilege of working with all these wonderful mm. people, friends over the years, and we thought each of them had something very interesting to tell. And I mean, just I'll just pick a couple of examples. Yeah. There's one by Professor Winston Chow from SMU, and he talks about uh, being a P5 student haltingly giving a, a presentation in class about something he just read about called global warming. And 30 years later, he's leading the IPCC, the Inter Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. You know, so, so a lot of these, st Professor Tommy Koh, through being a scout and, and, and mm. camping on the East Coast, went on to actually set the framework for conservation, the Con Convention on Biodiversity, which was the uh, outcome of the Rio Earth Summit in 1992, which he chaired the main committee. So just story after story of not only people who, doing, who, who did wonderful and are doing wonderful things, but just the route or the path that they took to doing these things were really quite yeah. fascinating. So I'm not trying to blatantly sell the book, but I think anybody who loves Singapore, who loves the environment, or just wants to learn about just the amazing things that people from this small island have managed to do on such a big stage, I think it could make for um, uh, Another reason read, one yeah. might read the book, if I look at, look at the cover page, A Peace with Nature, yes. are you suggesting that the way we live now puts us in conflict with nature and therefore not, I mean, you can call it unsustainable, any adjective you want to use, but that's not the way to live because not being at peace with nature means we're not at peace with ourselves. Yes, so if I could just maybe quote from what Prof. Tommy Ko said at, at the launch yesterday. So if you think about his career, in 1972, there was the United Nations Conference on the Human Environment, which was really the first conference, international conference on the environment. And he was part of that preparatory committee. That was over 50 years ago. And he said yesterday that, you know, for much of human history, we have been at war 
with nature. And it's time for that war to end now. And we need to make peace with nature. And in the process, um, nature will take care of us as well. Mm. Well, I'm afraid we have to leave it there, but do appreciate you stopping by. Um, you, I've been Michelle. speaking there with Dr. Sean Nam, editor, one of the editors of the book Peace with Nature. He is also a senior lecturer at the NTU Asian School of the Environment.